Well, new tonight, a West Toledo family is grieving the loss of their dog after it was just killed next door. We do want to warn you, de details of this case are gruesome. The man who killed it is now facing the consequences after the Toledo Humane Society says he slit the dog's throat. Roxanne Elias has the full story. Well, we went to the beach for an hour or so, and I got a call from my grandfather telling me that my dog was dead. Sierra Keck lives here on Brussels Street in West Toledo with her three children. Last week, she received the call that DJ, her dog's throat, had been cut and it was dead. On the 29th, we had a, a report that a dog had been uh, killed, and the, the method he'd been killed was to have his throat slit. Um, so we collected the, the body was taken to Lucas County Canine Care and Control. We collected the body from there. Keck says it's been heartbreaking for the family, which was planning to train DJ to become a therapy dog. For my son's anxiety issues, it calms him down. He panics a lot, a lot. It gives him like a sense of security almost. I am by. It is just me and them, so it gives him like a sense of protection. The mother says she's not sure how DJ was able to get out of the house, but she believes it was through a window. As far as we're aware, the dog that was killed was was trying to get to the, some dogs that were on a, a screened in or a, a um, were trying to get to some dogs on a porch that was uh, I don't know if it was screened in or not, but um, he had hold of one of the dogs apparently and uh, they couldn't get the dogs apart. That's when the ex-husband of the homeowner then slit the dog's throat. The Toledo Humane Society has since filed felony cruelty charges against the man accused of doing it. The law is quite clear that you can only kill it if it's attacking you or is threatening you or it's chasing or killing or threatening livestock. Domestic cats and dogs are not under the law. They're exempt from the law. So in this case, it was not lawful to kill the dog. For Keck, she says it makes her fearful for her family that this could happen right next door. I would definitely like to see him incarcerated. He belongs in jail and so does she. Neither one of them are innocent. My kids are going to suffer from this for a long time. In West Toledo, Roxanne Elias, WTOL 11. According to the Toledo Humane Society, Mark Coleman will be arrested and face felony animal cruelty charges. Depending on that, he could then face jail time.